Okay, so we finished our unit on the colonial era, which was the longest unit of the year, and we moved to a much shorter unit now. You can see it's shorter because the dates are a lot more narrow. The colonial era started in 1585 with the founding of Roanoke, and it ended in 1763 with the treaty that ended the French and Indian War. That's a long time. I mean, you're talking about almost 200 years. This unit is going to cover 12 years. 1763 is an arbitrary. That's the year that the French and Indian War ended. 1775 isn't arbitrary either. That's the year that the Revolutionary War began. So in the span of 12 years, you're going to see the American colonists are going to start to think of themselves as no longer being British and as of deserving their own independent government separate from England. This unit will focus on why this is the case. And like I said, it covers a lot fewer years and less pages in your textbook as well. There's going to be three basic lessons that we're going to cover over the course of the unit. And the first one is going to be about um, the British taxes and the oppression that comes along with those taxes. So um, at the end of the French and Indian War, William Pitt, hopefully you remember, partly won that war by spending a huge amount of money. Now the war is over, England wins, drives France out of North America, but they're left with this huge debt. They're going to have to start taxing their colonists to get out of that debt. As they tax the colonists, they're going to treat the colonists like crap. No one likes paying taxes, but the only thing worse than paying taxes is being humiliated and being treated like you're a child. And it's not so much the taxes that cause the conflict that we'll study, but it's the taxes plus the humiliation that comes along with those taxes that will be the source of the problem. And that'll be the second part of our unit. So we'll focus not just on the taxes themselves, but how that those taxes angered the colonists. And like I said, it was more than simply, we don't want to pay money to you. It came with, like I said, being embarrassed, being humiliated by the government of England. Finally, that conflict over those taxes is going to reach a critical mass and it's going to lead to the outbreak of the Revolutionary War. And we'll finish the unit by looking at the, the final straw that leads to the outbreak of war. All of this is covered in your textbook in chapter five. Please make sure you keep up with your reading. If you're a Spanish speaker, I'm going to do this same slide again in a much shorter version. I'll try to do it in my bad Spanish. If you're not a Spanish speaker, you're done with this part of the lesson. Okay, Spanish speakers. Nueva Unidad. El Camino a la Guerra Revolucionaria. Um, 1763 to 1775. Principale lección one, uno, um, impuestos y opresión británicos. Um, remember, los impuestos provienen de la dueta creada por la French and Indian War. Two, dos, la, res la resistencia colonial conduce al conflicto. A las colonos no les gustaron los impuestos, así que se defendieron. And then finally, lección principal tres, the start of the war, el estallido de la guerra. Um, esto llevó al inicio de la guerra revolucionaria. Lay tu libro de texto, por favor. See you on Monday.